Anyways, I'll talk to you later. Good night. Okay, that worked. Somehow. Hello everyone, and welcome to Ellie's. I don't know anything about this game, but there was an easter egg in of Ellie and Mary's Arcade and I thought I'd check the actual game out. If you haven't seen Mary's Arcade, it's a good game. You can check that out in the streams I did with it. But apart from that, I haven't been able to record for a few weeks because I was sick and then I just didn't get much time to record. So that's why the past videos had no commentary. I guess we just hit new game. I'm pretty sure this is... I'm not even sure what. According to the Game Jolt page, it's some sort of paranormal thing you need to check out. Uh... Okay. Uh, hello. Not sure how to start this off, but okay. let's get to it. To start, uh, I have to state this. These messages are running on a battery-powered tape recorder, so don't worry about it stopping midway. I want to thank you for coming in to look at our paranormal problem with our animatronics. Okay. I'm very grateful that you're doing this. I'll explain more about what happened tomorrow okay, night, as I am on a time crunch, but for now I'll give you the basics. Oh, First, I need to remind you of the legal mumbo jumbo, since this is an alleged haunted place that you're oh, researching. Oh, there they are. Since you signed the quote-unquote, we're not responsible document, I'll paraphrase it again on the call. Ellie's LLC is not responsible for death or injury to you. We're also not responsible for the damage to any property owned by you. Why? Now, with that out of the way, we can talk about ghosts. Now, you're currently in our office, which we've turned into a paranormal center with cameras. Kind of cool, you know? Uh... You can flip into the cameras, and from there you can have windows. I don't know what I did there. You can click around the map to go to different cameras, and you can also move the windows around to how you view fit. Plus, you can hire show them. Pretty neat stuff. Oh, that's All right. cool. About those cameras, we're running oh, everything on a there. single CPU, which can get overwhelmed easily. It's best not to stress the system out, as it'll crash if you overload it. You'll need to reboot the entire system if a crash happens, as whatever camera that went out is disabled unless you pull the reset lever on your left. It's near the oh. desk, but don't pull it unless you absolutely need to, because it is a limited use tool, which I can assure you okay. will work again after one use. It'll shut down uh -oh. the building's power and reboot the whole system, fixing whatever cameras are out. Still, it is a limited use tool, so don't abuse it. You can also turn off the main lights, and once they're out, you can flash the hall lights to see what's down them. Just try to keep the lights on as much as possible. It's not safe to leave them off for too long. Hi. Tonight you might see two of our cast members, Joe the Pirate and Hunter the Farmer. They seem to be good examples. Joe is an example of why stealing is wrong. I can't even Hunter read any of that, either. really. Now, if Joe comes into your office, he likes to go through the vent. Should he do that, you'll need what? to turn off the lights. Joe's eyes will light up red, and he'll start searching left and right for you, so you must turn on the lights when he stops moving his head, and he must be looking away from you with his eyes not lit up. If you wait too long or turn the lights on and his eyes are red, he'll spot you, and who knows what unspeakable things will happen. As for Hunter, he'll make his way down your office through the right Where's side. The vent? Should he enter, he likes to be noisy, and you'll hear fast metallic footsteps. Once you hear them, turn okay. off the lights, and as soon as the running stops, flash the hall lights as soon as possible. Alright, I'll leave okay. you to it. Good night, and good luck. Oh, someone's already moved. Uh, where is this vent at? Is it in there? Oh, they were both gone. I like how I already accidentally used something, though.
I guess. 5 a.m. Well, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing. That resets cameras, I think. Okay, 6 a.m. I should have paid more attention during that call, because I feel like I'm going to die to forgetting one of those things. Okay, so I guess you don't have to look for anything happening, you just need to survive. Which seems weird, that they'd include that kind of detail to just survive. Um, oh hey, day two. Good job. Yeah. So, I saw some of the stuff on the cameras last night when I looked at them. Pretty strange, right? Now, I said I would speak more about this place and what happened since you're from out of town. Who's active And now? you probably don't know what really happened besides a few murmurs here and there. Back in 1983, we had an incident where a man in a blue suit came in. He shot okay. two people, one being a young girl what? named Emma, and then himself. This incident hurt Why? a reputation. But what did further damage was the claims of ghosts haunting this place. From shadow figures to footsteps to the animatronics acting strange, it made families too scared to come here. But we've been looking for help with this because it's really starting to hurt our business. Speaking of shadow figures, ever since that event we've had two of them. What, what? Still, the other one only comes out later when he, I guess, gets to know the people better. Still, the other one, which we think is the okay. ghost of Emma, the child who was murdered here, if you do happen to see her, she seems not like being looked at, as creepy and odd as that is. We've noted looking at her scares her off, I guess. She's been spotted in the cameras, and your office as always, so like I said before, if you see her anywhere, either on the cameras or in the office, just look at her and she'll go away. Now since you've been here for a night, the ghosts, I think, are shy. But since you're going to be here for a week, they'll start coming out more, so be wary of that. Anyways, I'll talk to you later. Good night. Okay, that worked somehow. I don't know how that worked, but it did. So basically... I think... I'm just supposed to wait till he looks over there, then turn the lights on and he'll leave. Okay. There's some kind of stress meter on cameras, too. So... Oh no. Oh, okay. So you don't turn off the lights. Good to know. So yeah, I also didn't mention, I guess, that someone randomly just came into the building, shot a kid, killed them, then killed themselves. It doesn't make sense, but I guess that's what happened. And I think I got to, like, two or three before, so I'll probably just get there again. I have not seen the ghost yet this run weird and also
I'm not sure if I missed something in the call. I don't think I did. Um, I guess it's through now. Okay. So, you can wait a little bit to shut lights off. Like, if he's spawning, you can't shut them off. Okay, there was the ghost. So basically, just keep an eye on the ghost, if they spawn. Good to know. Not sure what to do if they spawn in the doorways. I'll probably find out eventually. Wait, okay, it is four. That's good. I like the oof sound for clicking that. Um... Sam. That's good. That means two nights done. I'm not sure how long the nights are. I'm assuming like six minutes or something. I guess I can go for night three. We'll see how this goes. I wonder when Ellie becomes active. This is interesting so far. So now you're here, huh? We thought you would have bailed on us by now. Well, since you're still here, I think you should be really getting the hang of it by now. Yeah. So I won't talk as much. Just like I said last night, though, the more you're around them, the more they'll move around. So you might be seeing our other mascot, Hallie the Cheetah. She's deemed yeah. as a sheriff, but she's a bit quirky if you ask me. She doesn't like being looked at or sudden actions, so try not to look at her if she's on the cameras or peeking in your office. Holly can also go down both hallways, so make sure you keep an eye on both of them. She's sneaky, okay. but as I said, don't look at her and she'll go away. With that said, I'll let you go. Good luck. So, literally, it's a foxy thing, except they get aggressive when you watch them. Basically, if I ever see them, turn away. Still don't know what cameras going out are. go. First jump scare. I just turned the light on too late. Well, that's what a jump scare looks like. I'll give this one more try. I know I can do night three. Okay. Well, that's weird. Sound plays on the opposite side. It should. It's 
so that's going to be annoying. Yeah, that's really annoying. Okay. I haven't even seen the cheetah yet. Not complaining, though. It's a good thing I haven't seen it. But then again, it did just activate. I thought I messed that up. Oh, the cheetah. Oh. Five AM. That was close. And there we go, 6 a.m. Well, this game is kind of easy so far, but who knows, maybe when the final person gets activated, it'll be harder. But we're on night four. So yeah, night four. I don't know how hard this game will get. If it stays at the area it has been, it won't be too hard. Saying as I've only died twice to me not knowing what to do and me just being dumb. But we got three nights done at least. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and also please subscribe for more. And you can suggest a game that looks fun for me to play if you want as well in a comment so feel free to do that and i will see you in the next video goodbye